Hi there guys and welcome to the channel. We're down here at Cottesloe Beach, Perth's premier beach in Western Australia and we're at the Sculptures by the Sea. So we're just going to show you guys around and show you the different sculptures and that by various artists. Now let's go have a look. Let us know what you think of this stuff guys. What do you think of the, this artwork? They look fairly interesting. Um, quite colourful these ones. This one here is by an artist called Kozo. Machino and it's called Rotation in the Sky. Pretty good. Check this one over here guys. It's a turtle. That looks pretty cool. It's um, made out of metal by the looks of things. A rusted type metal. This one here depicts a uh, shark's uh, fin. Susan quite likes this one. She thinks it's fantastic. This one's called Vessel by Toshia Lezumi. This is a ghost crab, guys. It's by an artist called Jack Welke. It's uh, made entirely out of metal. Looks pretty good. It's okay guys, these are different mirror type sculptures over here. If you get close up you can see yourself. You can probably see us walking past, I'm not sure. That looks pretty cool. It's quite reflective though. Okay guys, this one here is actually made entirely of um, bottle, plastic bottle tops. Look at the intricate detail in that. The artist has really taken their time doing that. You can see there's a lot of different things going on in there, a lot of different colour. And yeah, like I said, the whole thing's made out of plastic bottle tops. Okay, this one here is by an artist called Kathy Allen, and it's called Plastic Pandemic, made entirely out of plastic bottles good way to do some recycling here guys this one here is called family and it actually won the champagne pomery award um, I'm not seeing a lot in it but I am colorblind Susan just pointed out that it looks like two people sculpture here by Gina Lee called Universe in the Dust. Quite, a, quite an interesting um, little sculpture. This one's called Dark Night Shine by an artist called Takahiro Hirata and this is made out of um, marble and rock. Looks quite interesting. This one's called Mobius in Space, White Clouds. Let us know what you think, guys, of all these uh, sculptures by the sea here in Cottesloe, Western Australia. It's got over 70 uh, sculptures, by the way, so we're just sort of making our way around and doing a few of them. And, uh, yeah, let us know what you think and leave some comments below for us. This one here is probably the best one that I've seen so far. It looks like a ram or a sheep or something, I don't know. Let us know what you think it is. A, st a uh, sculpture here made of metal, guys. Silver metal. Simply called Us. What do you think? It's 
by an artist called Sharon Egan and it's titled Balga. That's a suburb in Perth. I can't quite pronounce the artist's name but we'll zoom in on it in a minute. And the uh, artwork's called You Are My Love. Sculpture by Siani Rogers. Everything must go. Interesting piece of um, artwork there. Quite reflective, but nice. There's actually a. You can actually have your voice recorded over there, and uh, when they've got enough recordings, it'll play back, and you can hear your yourself. So the tree's got a few um, lights in it. These trees powered by solar panels. It's quite a good one here guys. I like that the eagle taking off out of the bush and you spin around to your right over there. There's another animal over there. That one looks quite good. He looks a bit um, malnourished but he looks okay. This one's by an artist called William Leggett, called Monument Exo. It looks like it's made out of concrete. Interesting sort of sculpture. He's actually um, made out of timber and these are embedded into the rocks. So yeah, as we walk in up the groin at, at Cottesloe Beach, uh, with the ocean in the background there and a, and a ship out there also, a cargo ship. By an artist called Tony Jones and it's called Special Mark 7. Looks like some sort of a, a rocket or something. Made out of metal. Now check this one out guys, I really like this one. This might have to be my favourite one. I said the other one was before. But this one here looks pretty special. I, I do like that. That's a special piece of artwork. We'll get the name of the artist in a minute. So, but have a look at that. It looks like he's floating up there. And here's the artist over here, Bruno Catalano. Yeah, and this is an interesting piece of artwork. It looks very plain. But apparently at night time it shoots a flame out of the top there for two kilometres in the air, or a light. And um, it's probably going to look quite effective at night time. It's a sculpture called The Little Boy and the Whale. Looks like it's at, for, um, by some Aboriginal uh, youth art group called Booja Beedi. Um, pretty interesting piece of artwork, looks quite nice. All made out of metal, guys. Okay, guys, this one here is called a uh, comfortable introduction is by the artist called Hannah Kidd, Camel and some Cacti. Looks pretty cool, quite colourful, interesting bit of artwork. And this one here is a bicycle and looks like it's towing some sort of a trailer type thing. It's by an artist called Tom DeMunk, Kirkmere. It's called Artists at Work. Pretty tall, um, pretty interesting also, very colourful bit of artwork there. There's a lot of interesting stuff around this. This one here is uh, an old burnt out caravan, w would have probably taken a
bit of doing there to, to do this, but you could have probably gone to the bush and found a bird hat caravan. Okay, this one here is by an artist called Kathy Cooksley. Um, we'll film the title for you as, a bit, as it's a bit long to read out. Um, interesting uh, bit of artwork over there. This one is the motorbikes over here. They're facing, one's facing one way, one's facing the other way. So um, you can make up that one out as you, as you think, or to let us know what you think of it. And this one here is also interesting, made entirely out of timber. Um, called, uh, by an artist called Tony Davies, and it's called Markers 3. Looks like it's done it, got a bit of carving in there and a little bit of burnt timber. Okay, this one here is interesting. It's um, a lot of sheep. This must have taken a while to, to make that. It's by an artist called Anne Neal. It's called I Dream of Green. And it's all these little sheep in, in baits by the looks of it. The kids seem to love it. They're everywhere there. Patting the sheep like it's real. Okay, this one here is a piece of artwork called Mantle, and it's by artist called Tim McFarlane Reed. Pretty interesting piece of work there. Looks like it's a bit of um, interesting work going through it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.